What's good with the gang? Hey, hey. What's good with the gang? Hey, hey. Hoping y'all have a good day. Hey, hey. We about for today. Ooh. About to watch. Do what? Do what? Do what? Don't leave me. Thinking of versus bigger than you think. I don't really know, but that line stinks. Look, man, today we got. The universe is way bigger than you think. Then what you think? Look, man, we got to see what they say today about the universe being bigger than what we think. Yep. I know our minds are about to be blown. Absolutely. We get ready to take notes. We about to be in class. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that y'all <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. We really appreciate it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. The, some more support. The support man, it's, 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 it, yeah, the it's, nice it's comments, amazing. We really appreciate it, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Yes. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Also, here's your dose of positivity. Here's, here's that, that quote of the week. week. Hit that note. Hit that no no. Hit that mud. Smack that mud. And let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. All right. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere, and everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic neighbor, the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality the moon isn't this close to our planet, it's actually about this far away. 384,400 kilometers away from you right now it on average. Heavy. You can fit 30 entire Earths in between this distance. Wow. If you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Wow. Despite this incredible distance, however, 12 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that any individual human has ever been away from the Earth, That's and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look yes, like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars. Uh, and that tiny what? dot that you see there is We need Earth. to go back to yeah, we, we, we in class right now. We, we write home, down notes. It would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them and one of humanity's greatest achievements. This is what the Earth would look like from there if you were standing there with them. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see there is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means that whenever Earth. humanity finally gets around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the oh, astronauts wow. who landed on the moon were. In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds, it's actually more like 20 minutes each direction. Mm -hmm. Which would render instant communication in the event of an emergency impossible. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man made object from Earth. It is currently <laughs> is located crazy. 138 AUs from the Earth, AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is okay. 1. Real quick, I feel like my mind is blown because I don't really think about, I never really <laughs> thought about how. Uh, movement in space would all, like would you would also had to think about the complexities with time yeah. and how information is being sent and received. Yeah. Did y'all know about that, or is this new to y'all too? Wow, <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like I'm in class. He just said, "Okay, hold on, let's go back." That was a lot too. 138 AU. 138 AU. Astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth and the Sun, which means that Voyager times, 1 is 138 times further away from us than the Sun is. At some point on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but in my opinion, this is the greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. 
this tiny pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody has ever said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, if you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. On it, everyone you've ever heard of, yeah. every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Yeah. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, yeah. and economic wow. doctrines. Every hunter and every forager, every hero and coward, yeah. every creator and destroyer of yeah. civilizations, yeah. every king and every peasant, yeah. every young couple in love, every hopeful child, mm -hmm. every mother and every father, every inventor and explorer, mm -hmm. every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, yeah. every superstar, mm -hmm. every supreme leader, yeah. every saint and sinner in the history of our species yeah. lived there on a boat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Literally. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at 17 kilometers every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond the solar system, we what? arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, if you drove your car at 100 kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, it would take over six times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to finally get there, and it wouldn't even exist still when you arrived. When we zoom <laughs> out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy, inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot is the furthest extent of humanity's radio broadcasts throughout history, which means that any possible aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware of humanity's presence. It's complete silence outside of this yellow dot as far as we are currently aware, but the entire galaxy spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. But you have never seen the full glory of the galaxy at night, because 99% of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region right here. But even this massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies, a collection of 54 different galaxies that is about 10 million light years across. But zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo supercluster, of which the local Yo, group on, here is just on. a ton. You know, this makes you really <laughs> put into perspective if we were able, if we're able to see if there's, uh, ex you know, life outside of yeah. Earth. I just, outside of us. Yeah, outside of us. I, uh, this just puts it into perspective. Clearly. And, um, yo, this is complex. And if we did every, if ever encounter uh, another life form, you know how rare that would be when you think about the scale of the universe now? Yeah. And you think about, you know, asteroids landing on Earth, you know, all these different events that happen yeah. out in space and how rare that is when you think about the size and volume of everything. Yeah, this, this really just puts it into perspective. And this is also why never ever feel like you know everything. Never ever feel like you're the top of the food chain. Because there's uh, so much that we don't have an that, understanding of. Yes. Yeah, this is crazy, y'all. For real, I feel like this is... <laughs> I'm wow. surprised, and it's like it keeps expanding. When I when I yes. think, you know, like, it keeps where I think going. it stops, is a hey, and that just shows like how little of an area we've even discovered. Yeah, tiny segment of. There this are at crazy. least 100 other groups of galaxies wow. just like our own local group inside of here, and the distance from one side to the other is a mind-numbing 110 million light years. But even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous See? structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. 
The distance from one side to the other is 520 million light years, yeah. but from even there we can zoom out all the way to the entire observable universe and see that even the titanic Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything. So how he this find this is now? the observable <laughs> universe, and it contains everything that we know of. It is home to at least two trillion different and individual galaxies, which... So how do how was the observable universe discovered? Yeah, I, that's what I was just asking. Like, how how did all this come to be? I would like to see the information they was able to gather over the years. Yeah. Together contain more stars than there are that's grains cool. of sand on the entire Earth. The distance from Earth to any side of the observable see? universe is forty six point five billion light years, which means that the entire width is ninety three billion light years across. What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that we can currently see, and it's entirely possible that the rest of the universe outside of it is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there, because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. Okay. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even mm -hmm. if humanity is eternal and exists forever, there will still be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. What? According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. <laughs> Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see, was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality the entire universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it, and that's a similar situation to this. Yes, we are all so unbelievably small, small, but you shouldn't worry, because all that means is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. A lot to discover. Yo, I was shocked by this. This definitely has some facts that I didn't know. The universe is huge. That's basically what it looks. The, the universe is huge and there's a lot that we are unaware of. I was not expecting uh, the, the, the universe to be so vast, but it makes sense. And, uh, you know, if there is an opportunity, if we ever, I, I, I don't know if we will ever, you know, find life in space. But if there, if there is life in space, just understanding how rare that, uh, that it would be, you know, if something like that happened. What did y'all think in the comment section? Y'all let us know. What did you think? That's crazy. It's it's nothing. Uh -huh. It's it's amazing to uh -huh. have it spelled out like that to explain how small we are. Yeah. In in the grand scale yeah. of and, everything. And 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 like I was saying earlier, the time difference between yeah. you know and how you have to put that into perspective. Yo, it's a lot to take with this. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about this video. This was dope. Yes. Thank y'all for chilling with us today. Yes. We really appreciate it. We do. Make sure that y'all like, like, comment, and subscribe. All, all that, that good stuff. stuff. And, and we'll, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace, Peace out. out.